So let's go ahead and take a look at how DSC resources work in Otter. So first let's go to, I'm gonna to go to a dev machine I have. This is just a VM in the uh, an Azure VM, a low powered headless VM. So I'm just gonna, I have this command here and we're just basically, well, actually that's not the command I wanna run. I want to do, so. So I'm, basically, I'm just going to get uh, the current machine environment variable uh, for something called my first otter var. And it needs to be at the machine scope. Okay, so you can see that that is currently set uh, to that value. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and update that value and give it a different uh, variable name as well. So let's go over to the, now we're gonna hop over to the Otter UI. Okay, scale that up a bit. And so first we're gonna hop over to the modules. So all these modules are just uh, ways to abstract uh, Otter code. And I have one called set env DSC resource. And so now this is gonna pop up the editor. And so you saw that we already have this variable defined on that system. Uh, and it, right now it's set to this value of uh, basically this variable set on this server name. Server name, just an Otter variable. We're ensuring that it's present and we're setting the target uh, to machine. Uh, a little uh, interesting syntax here, and this is just a way to pass in uh, PowerShell arrays because the target can take an array of strings. And uh, um, so you'll notice also that in this uh, operation, the PSDSC operation, we have uh, the environment, but we're qualifying that with the module name here. This is a uh, an extension module that we're using uh, because the this particular extension to the default environment resource uh, provides the target, which I want to target specifically the machine level. So let's go ahead and change this to uh, my first otter var eight, and uh, and we'll just verify. We'll just change this a little bit. We'll say today and. Um, so let's save that. So now when I save that, what that did is, so you'll notice that the version now incremented. Um, so this, that went ahead and committed that to the local Git repository and pushed that up to the GitHub repository as well. So if we looked at the version, we could see the history here, we can compare with current. Uh, so it has some built in um, uh, diff differencing functionality. So let's go to our servers and let's look at DevVM. So right now, uh, we'll go to the configuration tab on that. And so we can see that that variable we looked at is set to, it's already current, so that already exists on the system. So now what we're gonna do is run check configuration. Okay, so now we're gonna watch the live output uh, for this execution. So this is what this is doing, what Otter is doing is making a uh, since we're running an agentless mode, so effectively we're just doing PowerShell commands remotely over the internet to that VM, uh, it's just uh, going to going to execute this code on that remote system. And the scripts to configure that to allow the firewall ports and, and things like that are in the example uh, Git repository. Okay, so let's see what happened there. Let's go back to the dev VM and look at the configuration. So we can see that it has drifted. Uh, so we see the uh, my first Otter, Otter var eight uh, is not present. We can look at the details. So the insurer is currently absent, which is not what we wanted. Uh, so let's go ahead and remediate with a job. So uh, you can set up servers. If you look in the overview, you can set up servers to uh, report only, or you can set to auto remediate. Right now I have it set to just report only so I can step-by-step uh, -step show how this how it works to remediate a drift. So let's remediate that with a job. And that just creates a job that will execute the DSC operation to correct the drift. So now we're looking at the remediation. And this is a, again is going to make that uh, remote PowerShell call to that system. 
And so now it's we can see there is a right here. We see that it, it detects that drift, and so now it will. After it does another check, it's going to run into the remediation phase. So let's verify that that uh, completed successfully. Okay, so it says here that it's uh, completed successfully. Let's just jump back to the server real quick and verify that that is indeed the case. So we just need to change that variable name to eight. Okay, so now that variable is now been set on this server. Uh, you can see with the changed um, value on the string. 